You've been driving under the new Oakland Airport connector tracks to BART. Now, the first test cars have arrived. The project will open later this year, um, but we're going to look at the cars today and the cars you're about to see will change the way that people think about getting to our Oakland airport. The cars will arrive about every four and a half minutes and the trip will go from the airport terminal to the Coliseum Bart Station and it'll take you for that trip alone just about nine minutes. It also provides a guarantee of that time so people have predictability about the trip going to and from. We're not dependent on traffic. The wheelhouse is the heart of the operation. Like a mountain ski lift, 12-foot motorized steel wheels will pull the cables that provide traction for the driverless vehicles. The $484 million project is on time and on budget. The federal government contributed $25 million, with the rest coming from the Alameda County Transportation Improvement Agency, the Port of Oakland, the state, and with MTC contributing $186 million in bridge toll money. They're beautiful inside, and we think it's going to be a nice contribution to those people utilizing the airport and the Coliseum as well. Local steelworkers and construction crews have already put in 410,000 hours building the project and taking home paychecks for their work. Many of our members, we're from Oakland. There were a lot of guys from the city of Oakland that participated in this project. The cars, the bogies, the guideway were all made in the United States of America. We've ensured that over 25% of the jobs, they came, these 25%, 27%, I think we're at today, came from Oakland. Fares have not yet been determined. Commuters will be able to swipe their clipper cards to get on the system. I love that this project connects uh, the airport and this, this line to all three of BART lines, making it so convenient for our passengers, as well as for the employee base at Oakland International. In Oakland, Mark Jones reporting.